this is Ritikesh and you are watching YouTube channel of Civil Panda. Today we are going to have this MCQ session based on Indian polity. So, let us begin. Consider the following statement regarding constituent assembly. That is the assembly which is given the, which was given task to formulate your constitution. It adopted national flag on July 22nd, 1947. Second, it adopted national anthem on 24th of January 1950. Which of the above statements are correct? One only, A only, B only, both A and B, neither A nor B. Consider the following statement regarding constituent assembly. The correct answer is both A and B. Both of them are correct. Yes, constituent assembly adopted national flag on 22nd of July 1947. It adopted national anthem on 24th of January 1950. Moving on to next one. Points you should remember about uh, the constituent assembly. First, the first meeting of constituent assembly commenced on 9 December 1946. It took 2 years, 11 months and 18 days to frame the Indian constitution. The first interim president, the first interim president not permanent was Dr. Satchitanand Sinha. The constituent assembly adopted constitution on 26th of November 1949 and it received signature on 24th of January 1950. There were total 284 members that signed it. These are the facts that you must remember. Moving on to next one. Consider the following statement. India adopted the idea of DPSP from Irish constitution. Ireland itself adopted the idea from American constitution. Which of the above statements are correct? Both A and B, only B, only A, neither A nor B. I am giving you 5 seconds to think about it. Is option A is correct? Yes, option A is correct. India adopted idea of DPSP from Irish constitution, but is option B is correct? No, option B is wrong. Because Ireland itself did not adopt the concept of DPSP from American constitution, rather it adopted it from Spanish constitution, but not from the American constitution. Moving on to next one. Now, there are a few points that you must remember about DPSP as for your exam. DPSPs are contained in part 4 of article 36 to 51. India adopted it from Irish constitution. Irish constitution in turn adopted it from Spanish constitution. The DPSP of Indian constitution is similar to instrument of instructions which is mentioned in Government of India Act 1930. This is the point that you must remember. It is similar to the instrument of instruction mentioned in Government of India Act 1935. Next, these are non-justiciable in the court of law. That means you cannot go to any court and say, look court, government is not giving a due response to DPSPs. Government is not focusing on DPSP or formulating is As per what is DPSP? Directive principles of state policy. That whenever a state formulates any policy or the government formulates any policy, you should keep in mind certain things about certain people, certain sections and certain sectors. You cannot go to court and say government is not thinking about it. So, DPSPs are non-justiciable as compared to fundamental rights which are justiciable. Article 37, it describes it as a fundamental to the governance of the country. Article 37 of DPSP describes them as a fundamental to the governance of this country. Moving on to the next one. When was constituent assembly set up? I am asking you when was constituent assembly set up? I am not asking you when was it convened its first meeting. Many of you made it 97 and 46, but that is not correct. The constituent assembly was set up on 6 December 1946. It commenced its first meeting, first official meeting in 9 December 1946. Moving on to next question. The post of vice president is borrowed from which country? Ireland, USA, Canada, USSR. The post of vice president is borrowed from which country? Your answer is United States. Next. What are the other provisions that are taken from United States of America apart from the vice president? That is fundamental rights, independence of judiciary, judicial review, 
impeachment of president post of vice president removal of supreme court and high court judges these are the things that we took from the constitution of united states of america that is fundamental right independence of judiciary judicial review impeachment of president post of vice president and removal of supreme court and high court judges moving on to next one now when is the national law day is celebrated 26th January, 26th November, 19th November or 15th January. The correct answer is 26th November. Earlier it was used to celebrate, uh, it used to be celebrated on 19th of November, but uh, in 2015, uh, government said, declared that uh, now the National Law Day will be celebrated on 26th of November to commemorate the adoption of Indian Constitution by the Constituent Assembly in 1949. Next question. Who among the following was not a member of drafting committee of the constitution? Dr. K. M. Munshi, A. V. Thakkar, N. Gopal Swami Ayangar, Sayyid Mahmudullah Sadullah. Who was not the member of drafting committee of the constitution is very important. Your answer is A. V. Thakkar. He was not the part of drafting committee of the constitution. Next. Points to remember. Drafting committee was appointed on 29th of August 1947. Drafting committee under the leadership of, of course, chairmanship of Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar was formed, appointed on 29th of August 1947. The committee has seven members. That is Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar as chairperson, of course. Aladi Krishnamaswamy Ayer, Dr. K. M. Munshi, Sayyid Mahmud Muhammad Sadullah and Gopal Swami Ayangar. P. L. Mittar and D. P. Shaitan. These are the seven members that you must remember. Dr. Bhimra Ambedkar, Aladi Krishna Swami Ayer, K. M. Munshi, Sayyid Muhammad Sadullah, and Gopal Swami Ayangar, P. L. Mittar and D. P. Shaitan. A. V. Thakkar was wrong. Next, who among the following called Crips Mission? A post dated check. Yes, check to the video, like date Nikal Gaya. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Crips Mission, go, give a year to post dated check. Your options are K.T. Shah, Mahatma Gandhi, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar, G.V. Mavalankar, who? Correct answer is Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi called Crips Mission as post dated check. Moving on to the next one. Who stated, Kisne kaha tha bhaiya, the constitution of free India must be framed without outside interference by a constituent assembly elected on the basis of universal adult franchise. Who acclaimed this that we do not need anyone to frame constitution for ourselves. We are very well sufficient and we have potential to frame our own constitution on the basis of universal adult franchise. Is it B.R. Ambedkar? Is it Mahatma Gandhi? Is it Jawaharlal Nehru or Shivas Chandra Post? The correct answer is Jawaharlal Nehru. He stated that the constitution of free India must be framed without any outside uh, interference or anything. Next question. By vesting residuary powers in the union, Indian constitution has followed. As you know, there are three lists. That is, union list, state list and concurrent list. Parliament is all powerful to make law on the subjects of this list. Here is state parliament, state assemblies. Concurrent, both can make power, but parliament succeeds. And residuary power, all those left are in so when Indian constitution uh, designed the idea, see, it followed which of the following constitution? French, Canadian, Australian or British? The answer is Canadian constitution. From where we adopted provision of joint sitting? Article 108 of Indian constitution. From where we adopted the provision of joint sitting? Government of India at 1935, is it United States, is it Australia or is it British constitution? Correct answer is, yes, Australia. We adopted the concept of joint sitting from Australia. That's it in this video. We are going to upload more videos on MCQ series to when uh, we will ought to be bringing best uh, MCQ series for you all so that it will help you and give you impetus for your examination. Thank you. Thank you. Oh,